everyone. It's Angela. I'm back again to, um, and welcome to my channel. I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, up to 170 and I cannot believe it. This is so awesome. I really thank you all so much. Um, so I wanted to come on today to do part two of the Altered Composition Notebook. Um, and I thought I had my camera on, but I didn't. So I did start, as you can remember in the first part, um, we did the covers together. So that is done. Um, and then while I had my camera on, <laughs> well, didn't have my camera on, I did the first pocket. Um, I did a side tuck here, a top uh, pocket here, and a top pocket here. And I put one of my tabs from my whale punch tab um, from uh, Stampin' Up! or EK Success. I got it on eBay. Um, did the back there and then this one here we I did a side pocket I did put a tab on the top there and then I realized I wasn't recording at this spot right here so we can finish that together but first I wanted to show you something that I've been working on and I think I'm going to be putting some journals in my Etsy which is Angela's, A-N-G-E-L-A-S, Boutique Shop on Etsy. So it's Angela's Boutique Shop on Etsy. So what I've done is I've made some journal covers. This one has a coffee dyed muslin on the inside. And it's made to look like faux leather. Um, I got it off Gail Augusta Nelly's channel. She gave me the inspiration to do these covers. So these are all made from a 9 by 12 envelope. And this one here, I did a napkin on it. You can see the butterflies and the flowers. And again, it's um, made to look um, like um, faux leather. This one, I have homemade paper in the inside. I was given this in a swap, and then the back is the same napkin, and I did stitch all around it. This one here um, is also a napkin. You can see the flowers on it. And it has coffee dyed paper, um, homemade paper on the inside. And this one, this one I really am in love with. Um, this is just a plain brown one. But on the side here, um, my sewing machine does an alligator stitch. So I, on this side I did the alligator stitch. And I really, really like the way that came out. And then on the inside, coffee dyed homemade paper that I was given in a swap. So, I really am in love with this journal. Um, but like I said, I want to try listing some journals in my Etsy, Angela's Boutique Shop. So, go on over there and check it out once I um, get them done. But we're going to be doing some things together for those. So, that should be fun. But, I want to finish this first because I don't like having unfinished projects. I don't have room for unfinished projects. So, I was thinking of using this um, particular paper. It won't fit on lengthwise to put the words, but I was going to cut off the flowers and use that part of the paper. So I'm just going to use my cutter to do that real quick. So I'm going to go right up to the words because I might use those for something else, you know? So, just gonna go right up to the letter. See, so I'm gonna save that. And then I've got two pieces here, and what I'm thinking is putting this there like that, and 
then I think, yeah, I am going to need the other one. And then using this one, like, like so, or like so. Ooh, I kind of like it going that way. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim the top a little bit. But I actually kind of like it going that way. Maybe I would like this going that way. Kind of like the little flowers because they're going to get cut off of this one. Or do we do it like that? Yeah, I'm thinking this way, guys, because I can get a majority of it. Okay, so I need to just take off a little bit on this one and the other one at the top. When I say a little bit, I'm probably taking off oh, half an inch. Oh, did you hear that? It has a wire inside to line it up, and I just strummed it like a guitar. Oh, jeez. Trying to entertain myself as we go. <laughs> Becoming a musician over here. All right, I took about a half inch off that as well. Now, what I'm going to do is line it up around my corners here. Just the one. I'll put that in there so I can see what I'm doing here. Alright. I could actually take a little bit more off. I'm trying to get this flower out so as much as possible. So I could go another quarter inch off on this one. I'm just going to round the corner again using my crocodile. That is my favorite corner rounder, you guys. I own like three corner rounders. I own this one I got off Amazon. I own, oh no, I gave that one away because I didn't like it. So I only own those two now. But um, that one is my favorite. I like this one if I want to do like a medium size. Um, because this, the crocodile only has like a small and a large. So I do like that one for that, one, that stuff. Alright, so we're good now. There, I just need to cut it to my height of the book. Which if I remember was 6 and seven eighths I want to say and I have my temples ruler here oh no that's nine and seven eight. nine and three quarter that's my height nine and three quarter and I don't know if all composition notebooks are the same you guys so but mine is nine and three quarter on my height so you would have to check yours to make sure whatever composition notebook you buy. Now, I got mine at the Dollar Tree. So, if you get it at Dollar Tree, then you still might want to check it because sometimes they could be different. Just saying. I'm really liking that. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that down. I have my art glitter glue that I think I'm going to use for this. I'm trying all different glues on this paper and they all seem to wrinkle it so just go for what you like I guess okay and then this piece here We will do that. Or do I want the rose peeking up? Alright, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark it. Right there. And then I'll cut 
it's divided three quarters. So where was my mark? Oh, I'm so silly. It's an angle. I don't even know where my mark is. But anyway, I can't just put a little mark. There's my mark. I gotta draw the angle. So I gotta trace the angle up. All right. And now when I cut this, I'm gonna cut it at a little below that line. Cause I don't want that line on there. Okay. So then that, oh, what did I do? I need this straight just to go down in there. All right. Oh, this just my brain is not working at the moment, apparently. All right, let me cut this off straight. Okay. You guys are all probably saying, now why is she doing that? could hear you. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and glue that on. Now you don't have to use such a big piece. I could cut it down, but I like it when it sticks inside the pocket. Because, you know, if you're looking down in the pocket, then all you see is the pretty paper. and not the notebook paper design. So that's why I go a little bit further in. But I'm really pleased with that. So let's go ahead and close our pockets. So this one I'm gonna put glue along this side here and then on the bottom. So up the side, because that's gonna be a top loading pocket. Okay, and then this one is going to be a side loading, so we're going to do both sides. This side, and this side here. Okay. Awesome. Now we got to figure out what we're going to put on the back. So... This one we did a pink back. This one we did a brown back. So we don't have a blue back yet. So let's see what blue papers we have. We have this one. Don't have too many blue papers left. than what we have on the front. I do what I did with the pieces from the front. But that's okay. We want a different one than the front anyway. So we are going to do this one. So nine and three quarter. I want the words. Nine and three quarter. Oh, that's my length. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's nine and three quarter length. All right, so now I need to know my width. So my length is nine and three quarter. Okay, now my width is six and seven eighths. Okay. 
And that should fit perfectly. So let's round our corners on this side. And I am using the large round, rounded corner. Which it doesn't match perfectly, but it matches good enough, guys, really. I mean, you could cut around each one if you're, you know, if you want to, but you don't need to, I don't think. Some people just like things to be perfect, and that's okay. I like, I like it when it's a little not perfect, because I'm not perfect. So I don't try to be in the crafting because I want it to be a stress-free time. So the next one, I oh I want to put a tab. Hold on a second. So the front is pink. I've already punched so many tabs. So let's see. We've got a blue tab and a tab tab. We've got this one. Oh, we have blue. That might be pretty. Oh, I like that one too. I think I'm going to go with the blue one. But which one do I want? No, that one blends too much. I like the one that's there. Yeah, there's the wrong with that. Okay. Yeah, so as I punch my tabs, I'm going to put them in that dollar store. I think I'm going to put this one down here. Now when I put these on, I put glue on both sides because I like a nice tight fit. Okay. Like that. I didn't want them close together because they're both blue. So in the middle, I would have put a different color. That was my reason behind putting it down there. Okay. Now the next one, I did not decide what I was going to do yet. So, we are at 18 minutes. Okay. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um. I paused the video for a second so I could figure out what I was going to do, and I decided to not do anything there and just um, go, skip to the back, where the back I'm just going to do a, a oh, I'm sorry, I decided to do a top loading pocket, a full page one, because I didn't have one yet. So the paper we are going to use for that is going to have to be pink and brown because those are the only ones we have left. So, I don't think I used this brown music paper yet, did I? No, I did not. So let's put that on the back. And then the front, let's put, hmm. <clears throat> We put this. I don't think we use something like this yet. No. All right. So let's use this on the front. And the brown music paper on the back. Oh, we did use that already. Okay, hold on. I, I was starting to think I'm. Oh, we use that one already. Okay. 
we haven't used this one. I know that. I like that one better anyway, because it's got the words. So it goes with this page a little better. So do we want to center it with this at the top? Like that? With this and this cut off? Or do we put it to one side or the other? I'm thinking like that. Alright, so let's cut our paper to six and seven eighths width. is going to be our front like that. and then our back is going to be this so six and seven eighths for the width For the back. Alright, let's make sure we got it going the right way. So we're going to around this side. For the back. And we'll be around this side. Like so. Alright. I like that. So the next part is going to be decorating. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a thing or two. And I guess we'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.